Hi everybody, I'm B.W. Scheitz and I'm the uh, co-director along with, this mic is not easy to talk into, this is a, this is your very talented man, Ron Tucker, this is awesome. I'll try again. Uh, so, uh, I'm B.W. Scheidt, yeah, not gonna work, and I'm the co-director along with Gary Weeks for the feature film Basement Bob, and I produce along with permission of my lovely wife, Wynn, when I can. So. We, we had the idea to do this, uh, bring this character into the screenplay, have the neighbor have a dog that's a part of the movie, and we thought we'd get like 30 or maybe 35 people come out on a rainy Sunday. You're totally wrong. You guys are intense. It was so awesome to see 200 people show up for this for this great thing, and I, I figured all of you guys must be, uh, you know, members of the uh, Northwood Film Society, right? Everyone's a card-carrying member here, right? Okay, that's that's a good thing. It's like thirty dollars, and they're, they're throwing this whole thing as a thank you for coming out in the rain. I mean, what town are we in? This must be like this is amazing. Only in, only in Buford, because people say, "Why did you leave Los Angeles to come all the way here and make a movie?" That's incredible. And uh, the answer is all of you guys. This is why we're doing it. This community, this town is so awesome. We thought it was be a great place to make a feature film. So here we are. So if you're not a member of the Beer Film Society, and I'm sure you are. I think it's like thirty dollars, so that's like my bar tab too. So you know, no big deal. And I guess they're selling cups and necklaces and T-shirts and, and riding saddles and everything. They got all of it for sale. It's it's pretty cool. So we have five five finalists. I'm gonna see if they're over here. One second. awesome to go out and have people come out and let us play with their dogs for a day, but um, we couldn't pick everyone, so just know that we would put all the dogs up here we could, but we had to choose one for this point. Of the so, so what we're going to do, um, so everybody can still have a chance to be in the film, a lot of the extras in the background, walking around, sitting in the cafe, we're going to pull from the people who came out. So you're not out of the running of the film, right? You can still be on the on the big screen. You still have a chance to be in the film. In addition to the other extras we get to cast, we're gonna great chance to do that. Um, this is the. I feel like I'm on a boat. You know, every once in a while, it comes in and out of like this. And it's like, whoa, am I drinking? No, I'm not drinking. This is crazy. All right, we're gonna get to it, guys. So for the first, uh, this is in no particular order, much like the Academy Awards. So the first nominee. Oh, and if the dog owner, I'm really sorry, if the dog owner is here, we'd love for them to come up and try to talk about their dog in this microphone as its first test would be really great. So we'll give them a shot. These are, these are all custom-made garbage bags. Um, so, the, so the first dog is... Moose! Is Moose's owner here? Moose? Anybody? See Moose? Oh, here she is. I love that you like the boxing lady holding the number. Up. You're funny. When? 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 So, here's around Arlene. So, this is Arlene, everybody. Congratulations, Arlene. And, Arlene, tell us about Moose a little bit. Where'd you get him? How old is he? Is this his first acting tag member? What's the story? It's his first act. Eight years, and I'm shocked. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's a wonderful dog. Awesome. I can't wait to see him with the other dog and oh, with that other actor. I think he'll do great. Thank you so much. What do you guys? The second one. Diesel. So this is Diesel. Is Diesel's owner here? Diesel. Anybody have a Diesel in their life that they go home to and? It sheds on your couch a lot. Siberian. I think I, I think we saw her earlier. There she is. So this is Mary, right? And that's Diesel. So tell us about your dog. Well, he's a wonderful dog. He's um, really sweet, very loving. That's mostly what he is. Where'd you get him? 
I got it from Petland about six years ago. <laughs> it's a bowl of Florida. He's six years old. Where's Hobby? Uh, I'm kind of nervous. I'm nervous. Congratulations. Thank you. 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 I memorized all 178 200 dog faces and no owners, so I know you from the crowd. No Leroy. Well, Leroy's owner will be notified via Facebook and email and smoke signal, so we'll get that message out. Are you ready? Oh, she has a story. I don't have a story. I just want to say what I like about Leroy is his name. It's just so, just Leroy. I mean, you know, when they came and signed in, I'm like, your dog's name is Leroy. It's like, yeah, I'm like, all right, which for me, you know, it's just, you know, just so unassuming, but it's a very sweet dog. The name of the dog. Uh, this is number four? Yeah. Oh, this is Pasha. Pasha man. This is Leslie. Leslie's the owner of Pasha. Tell us about your dog. How'd you get it? How old is he? Does he do any tricks? He does tricks. Um, Pasha is a very special dog. He, um, I got Pasha. It was uh, my my dog died 48 hours after my dad passed on, and I was devastated. So, um, so I found Pasha, and Pasha is a rescue dog. He's um, he's part Greater Swiss Mountain Dog. I think he's got some Roddy in him. He's got a Roddy head. But um, his mother was in a high kill shelter in Indiana. She was the second dog to be put down that day. She started giving birth on a cold cement floor in December in Indiana, and there was a woman from a rescue organization that came in. She went running to the head of the shelter and said, this dog's giving birth, this dog's giving birth. And the man said, I'm sorry, we're gonna put her down anyway, and all her babies. There were 13 in that litter. So she said, no, you're not. I'm gonna take them all home, including the mom. I think 11 survived, and she adopted them all over the country. So there are 11 Pashas out there, plus the mom. That's a movie by itself, right? Unbelievable. Wow. I should, I should get him to like write the story for me. So I think we're down to the last one. I know there are still a lot of dog owners. So remember, if this isn't your dog, you're not out of the running. You still need your help to be in the film. And if anybody knows anybody who's interested in investing in a movie, we'll have to talk to them too. Because we're so close, everybody. We're so close. We need a few more investors to come into play to lock this funding and to make this movie happen. And then we can do human and casting. Then we can do human casting. We get the important ones out of the way first, and then we'll bring the people in. So uh, we'd love to talk to anybody who's interested and hear more about our strategy for funding this film. So with no further ado, the final of the fifth dogs is... Yeti T. Fuzzbottom. Yeti T. Fuzzbottoms. That's a name. Awesome. Tell us about the name. How would you come up with the name as Yeti T. Fuzzbottom? Yeah, tell us about Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, we got Yeti when he was they seven. Like, we got Yeti when he was seven weeks old. Um, we've been talking about getting a dog for a little while. He's two years old now. And I found him at a breeder up near North Carolina. And he was born on my birthday. And I was like, Tyler, that's my fiance. I am going. And I, I went to North Carolina. I got him and I brought him home. And he ran to Graco and bought every doggy thing he could find there. <laughs> and brought him home. And oh my gosh, he is a huge part of not only my family, but extended family. He has his own Facebook page. Please add him. He is Yeti T. Buzz Bottom. Um, and my my fiance is actually in the Marine Corps and he was deployed and I went to visit him in Bahrain. And this is when Yeti, we missed Yeti so much when we were there together. <laughs> and um, we created this Facebook page while we were in Bahrain and we were like, what should his middle name be? What should his last name be? And we kind of had this show where we called him Mr. Fuzz Bottoms when we got home from work and it just kind of made itself and there he is. <laughs> what is it, T? T, uh, 
it just sounded good with getting those buttons, but he's trustworthy. <laughs> trustworthy. Or Tyler. He's <laughs> Awesome, congratulations. So these are our, our top five picks. They're going to be brought back to be with the actor to do an addition, additional audition. Additional audition, that's hard to say. And um, remember, we're going to be reaching out to everybody else for casting of the extras and bringing your dog along to be on the set and be on the camera uh, for the big feature film. And we want to say one more thank you, besides the Newport Film Society, to the Port Royal Veterinarian Hospital, who allowed us to use their space all day to, to do this on a Sunday of their free time. It was such great. So please give them a big round of applause, everybody. And this, this community is so great. We had all these printed up um, and, and put on these boards. So many people helped out. And this is, uh, Susan Deloach, photography. She was out there, photographed all these wonderful images for us. We're going to do it like Susan. And of course, Dave Anderson helped us rig everything up and put up signs and all that stuff. So thank you all so, so much. These images will be on display at the Port Royal Veterinary Hospital for a week or so. And then we'll decide how we're going to either get them to the owners or what have you. But uh, thank you guys so much for coming out and being a part of this project. Thank you all for uh, coming out. Like I said, this is our first meet and greet of the year. There's plenty of food over here. We need to get it gone. So please eat it up. Can we get the owners to come back up here to a group picture? All, all the owners of the dogs. That would be great. Just uh, Yeti T. Buzzbottom's owner and, and uh, Asha's owner and uh, Leroy's owner. Can everybody come back up for a second for a group picture? That would be wonderful.